What's good? Welcome back to Darren's podcast. It's been a while. I think it's been about two months. Could be three. Could be three months. I ain't gonna lie. Could be about three months. But uh, yeah, I had I had to jump back in. I ain't gonna lie. And I had, just let y'all know. No, I ain't been in jail. You know, for those wondering, no, I'm not. I hadn't been in jail. I just uh, been behind the screen, just watching y'all. That's what I've been doing. Posted up, watching y'all. A lot of shit's been going on since the last time I posted. The last time I posted, and, and to be real, the last thing I posted about really wasn't anything here recently because the video I posted was GMJ, the last one, was GMJ behind Trump, and that was in 2016. So, yeah, I thought uh, I definitely had to get on here because of uh, Toronto Johnson, Toronto Antonio Johnson. Him disrespecting Crystal, Crystal Muhammad. You know, I've been wanting to do this for a minute, get on here and speak on him. But that, whenever he did that here recently, oh yeah, that pushed it, that pushed it uh, over the edge right there. That did it. When I seen it, uh, I hit up Crystal, I hit up Crystal about three days in a row over this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess I'll, I'll just get into it real quick and then I'll, I'll, I'll explain, uh, you know, well, I'm definitely not gonna explain what we talked about, me and Crystal, but I mean, cause it's some of y'all's fucking business, but hey, uh, let's, yeah, let's get into it. So, all right, first I want, I want to play a little, a little bit of this so we can go over this together because this bitch ass nigga Toronto, you want to fucking say you didn't disrespect her. I don't know what you think disrespect is, but Maybe you should uh look that definition up or some shit or ask someone ask somebody. I guarantee they uh will uh and I'm not talking about yes men because you got a lot of motherfucking yes men on your page. If you don't know what a yes man is, that's uh your little bitch ass page. Some I've noticed some people come on there, they get a little like starstruck. They think oh this is a big show. They f- they feel like they're on you know a little celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Like they're shining. That's what it is. So they ain't trying to tell you no and what you're doing wrong on your show because they, they're they getting their little five seconds of fame. Fuck that shit. That's what I'm saying. Fuck that shit. So, yeah. Okay. So, the sake. Yeah, let's play this what for a second. Now? You know what I'm saying? Or oh, wait till she. Before. Okay, everybody, I see, I see before, before, before. All right. Until so, it gets I'm there. So, a of questions that I wrote down. By the way, she did. Uh, uh, she uh, told Tarka, uh, I I'm not answering no questions about Ali. You, you ask him you that. He agreed with that. Ali then he gets on the show and switches it up to try to make her look like the bad one. That's what the fuck it was. Hey, this video, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but y'all stay tuned. There's a lot of motherfucking shit that's about to be said in this motherfucking shit. And it's shown. I got, I got receipts, bitch. He was shot down at his front door. Okay, no, I'm asking. What Skip a little ahead. Personally, brother Toronto, Fahim. let me tell you something, because I know you're going to watch this. You, listen, if you want someone to come on your show, I'm talking about op, anyone, especially to come on and debate your bitch ass, just because they say something that you don't like, you don't need a mute them. You know what I'm saying? When you kicked her off the uh, the motherfucking show, that's like bringing someone in your crib, like, let's do an interview, like, record it all together, right? And say, nah, fuck this shit, get the fuck out. That's what that was. You kicking her the fuck out. You saying that ain't disrespectful because you don't want to be, you don't want it to get disrespectful, but you disrespected it. I also heard, you know, uh, you know, burnt the bridge with, with uh, King T and uh, I want all the smoke. Bro, that's like, in my opinion, them two and Crip, Cryptonomics was y'all, was like your biggest fans. Fuck Crip. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, nigga. Like, I'm telling you, you a square ass bitch. I'm telling you, you and Toronto can get smacked. If I ever see y'all, especially, especially you, Toronto, but Crypt- Cryptonomics, if I ever see you, don't ever say shit, because I promise you, that's gonna be that's gonna be a bad day for you. I'm telling you, bad fucking day. Toronto, you will have a bad day when you see me. That's a promise. You will have a bad day. 
You know what I'm saying? You gonna have a fucking bad day if you see me. You wanna talk about you gonna throw these motherfucking hammers at people and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Crystal, Khatib, they none of them threaten you when you wanna say pull up because they say that, you know, you're being suspect. No, oh, pull up, huh? Toronto, I think you need to think a little bit. You know how many enemies you got, bro? Every fucking day you make an enemy. You know what I'm saying? You think that's good? You think that's good for you and your kids, nigga? Your kids. Think about your kids for a second. Because I know one day you try to tell me to think about my motherfucking kid, right? I know what I get myself into, but do you? I know not to fucking go and do the shit that you're doing, making that many enemies. You a dumb bitch. I'm going to tell you that now, you a dumb bitch. Do you not remember your computer you got hacked the other night, bitch? But you still want to fuck with people, huh? You still want to fuck with people. You fucking child abusing ass nigga. Hey, y'all. Those receipts that he showed y'all the other day, why didn't y'all question and say, we can't see that? That's just because he's putting it up on the screen does not mean, oh, this is it. We can't see that shit. He wanted to make an excuse and say, oh, his baby mama, you know, when she gets mad at him, she's going to make an excuse and oh, I'm going to call the police. No, bitch. She called the police because you beat your motherfucking son. Child abuse twice, bro. Child, not on just someone else, on your kid. Child abuse twice. Why haven't you told them the real reason why you really went to prison? You're trying to hide this fucking child abuse shit. I, I watch that. Check me out, bro. I got this shit right up in here in this black ass folder. You see this shit? I'm telling you, bro. I, I'll give you a little sneak peek. A little sneak peek. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you a little sneak peek. You see this shit? Okay, a little sneak peek. Look, it's, it's, it's five pages long of... I'm, I'm gonna be back here so y'all can't see it, but y'all can see it for a second. I'm gonna show y'all in a second. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all in a second, but hey, it's a lot. This nigga is a troublemaker. He tried to say he switched. This, I remember he said all his trouble was back in the 90s. What about the two, early 2000s and late 2000s, bro? I'm talking about the five years ago, bro. Shit that you've been doing. If y'all would. I'm not even gonna speak about the taxes on this video. Y'all can watch my other video that I tagged him in. Y'all watch that if y'all wanna speak about the taxes that he owes and shit like that. This one, this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get down to it about, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna break it down, you know what I'm saying? But, but first, like I said, I want to show you how you disrespected Crystal. Because you said that you didn't disrespect him. So I'm gonna show you, bitch. I'm gonna show you. Uh, he, he was the peak. I, I was asking questions about Ali. You answered. According to you, can you verify? Toronto, I want you to throw those said, hammers with me. Like, real talk. I, I want to fight. I want to fight, my nigga. I want to fight. I'm asking, and, I, and, I, and the reason why I'm saying that. So, what's up? Like, have that on your mind. If we ever see each other, have that on your mind. Because I'm going to walk up to you like that's what we already agreed on. That we going to fight right there. So, have that on your brain, okay? Don't be no bitch ass nigga saying there's people around. I do it in broad daylight public, okay? I hope you about that because you talking to all these people that are about that shit like you are about that shit. So since you are about that shit, I hope you are about it in public, in broad daylight. Fuck the law, right? Fuck them. I'm doing it in front of them too. I'll hit your ass right in front of a cop, nigga. Fuck you. A lot of people don't know this, but the best way to make money with Amazon in 2021 I need to update my shit because these commercials get on my fucking nerves. This is not going to be some shit. No. There's plenty of people I mean. I have not went and asked anybody for any credentials on right anything. Right here. You pay attention, bitch. This is the part. Years. So that's no, 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 it's not. I'm not going to do some, some listen, shim sham. Listen. Oh, let me stop. Listen, let me stop. Listen, I, listen, I have not ever looked at you. Listen, I you, don't think we're going to see what, do this Hold up. You see what I'm saying, bitch? I don't think I'm going to get through this interview. Why are you muting her? That's shutting her. That's like taking her lips and closing them while she's talking in person. Like taking her lips and just, uh, nope, you. 
You know what I'm saying? You couldn't do that to no one in person. You know that. I don't give a fuck if this is your show. I don't want to see no comments. This is his show. Or I don't give a fuck. That's still disrespectful, bitch. Tarka. I mean, Toronto. Toronto Antonio Johnson. You motherfucking Johnsons, boy. I'm telling y'all, y'all got a problem. I was going to get on GMJ a little bit. You know, I, like I said, GMJ a fake ass nigga. I'm going to get on him a little bit real quick. He a little fake ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Um, out here lying to y'all, saying that all oh, now the charges got dropped and he can't talk to y'all, but he's steady getting money. He a bitch ass nigga, fuck him. And honestly, I hope y'all continue getting uh, done wrong because we done, everyone done showed y'all, he done showed y'all that he a bitch ass nigga and he a lie and all this sort of shit, but hey, I. Fuck him. You feel me? Fuck him. GMJ, do something. If you if, if you see if you ever see me too, you do something too, pussy. Yeah, but anyways, I'm I'm fuck you nigga. Uh but Antonio, back to you, bitch. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this interview, sis. I, that's I don't dis- think that's we're disrespectful. Be able to do this you don't think that's disrespectful? She's sitting there talking, because right? This not, this is not make this no one can hear it. You just mute her, right? You think that's you think you think that's okay. This is going wrong already. Regardless if it's your show, you don't think that's disrespectful? I don't want to be disrespectful. And then when you cut her off, assume that I'm being dis- and then you and then you let her come back, you right? You sent him to Moorish World TV. Therefore, I got the right to ask you, how do you know? Why? Him? Why would you try to lie about that child abuse case? You know, I'm gonna show it right now because this is some bullshit. You want to keep on fucking lying to people? And I'm gonna break it down. He has, and from 1998 to 2014 is his most recent. 2014 is his most recent uh, uh, domestic violence charges. He has 11 total. Probably more that uh, that he just hasn't been charged with. He's definitely did some shit. You know what I'm saying? Definitely beats his kids. He beats his fucking kids. I'm telling you. He may not now that he got in trouble. He used to beat the motherfuckers. I'm telling you, nigga. He used to beat his baby mama too. That's a fact. I'm telling y'all. He used to beat. The, that's why they're not together. He beat the fuck out of them and the kids. I'm telling you. Hold up. I don't think you can see the shit. Hold up. Alright, so. Because it's backwards. Alright. The top of this shit says Maryland Judiciary Case Search Results, right? Alright. Uh, just so y'all can see, that's Johnson. You see Toronto, the name right here, right up here. It's just backwards, but I'm gonna read it off to y'all to break it down. All right, and to, uh, May 20th, 2005, child abuse case. What's crazy is, okay, he got. This shit's so crazy. Okay, in May, May 20th, he got a child abuse case, right? And then August 11th, the same year, 2000, so about three months later, he caught another domestic violence charge, right? Another. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it all. In this, July 27th, 19, 1998, Domestic violence charge. Skip up to 02. February 13th of 02. Another one. July 10th, 02. The same year. So he caught, in 02, he caught two domestic charges. Caught another one in 03. Caught another one in 04. Caught another one in 05. And that was a child abuse. Then another uh, same year, child. I mean, uh, domestic. So two in 05. Then he, then he sat back a little bit with his bitch ass, beating on kids and shit. And then three years later, after 05, he beat someone else, domestic. Someone in his family. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
And then came back in 09. Did it again. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bruh? Every year you want to beat a family member or a kid? Damn. You are a piece of shit. You know that? You are a piece of shit. I wish I'll see you. You know, in jail, when people get mad because they can't see their family members, you know what I'm saying? Or the the, the CEO's being a dickhead and he's like, nah, you ain't seeing you ain't seeing no one today. You ain't you ain't doing this, blah, blah, blah. You're mad, right? They take it out on bitch ass niggas like you. Because they just think, oh, he beat up a kid? Oh, I'm gonna beat his ass just because of that reason. You that you that type. That's that's if we was in jail together, mm-hmm. That yeah, I'm I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If I see you, bruh, if I ever see you, I hope you speak the same way you speak online. I'll sh I'll act like I'm going to shake your hand and then hit you right in your shit, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, but I like a man, I walk up on you like 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 you said, let's 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 speak man to man, face to face. Honestly, with me really ain't no talking. I'm telling you, ain't no talking. I know I'm on here talking, but in person I'm telling you. If I got a problem with you, bro, mm -mm. ain't no problem, bro. I'm going to make you fight me. If I hit you in your motherfucking shit and you say, what did I do? What the fuck? What's your problem, bro? Hey, you better put your hands up. You better put your motherfucking hands up because you about to get hit again. And I'm going to hit you. And if you don't put your mother, I'm, I'm going to make you fight me. Yeah. Since you say you a bully. Ah, oh, bully the bully. Like, you be saying, a bully the bully. Because you are a fucking bully. You out here causing problems in the black community. And you don't think that you are, but you talking about all of the black leaders. All of them. Every motherfucking shot. I couldn't believe you got a motherfucking crystal. You got a problem now. You got a motherfucking problem. I just want to show y'all something before I get up out of here. I got to show y'all something. It's pretty cool. It's pretty funny. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was hilarious. I was I was dying laughing, I'm not lying. Damn, how about that? Y'all remember this part? To accept, press one. To send a Y'all remember this? Ali, if you ain't got no payment, you ain't coming on more Swirl TV. You got a payment? Huh? Ain't no Keep listening. Come on, man. You ain't got no payment. You ain't coming on more Sprout TV. Now, how about that? Make a payment. You a coward. You a coward and a bitch. Look, that, that, you a bitch. You a bitch. Look. You a fucking bitch. Don't he look scared? Look at you. I Don't he look scared? Look at you. Oh, you man. Me? You hear me? Nah. Little scary ass you know bitch. You know, you know who this is, don't you? Smack you right in your mouth. Yeah. You, know you look I scared am? as hell who right now, bro. Who are you? You sound scared. I am. Scared? I am. You a little scared? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Is that you? I'm always it's scared. Me. You know I'm scared of the police. Uh, there you go, always. Anyway, that was Ali Muhammad. You see that? And no, he said that was Ali Muhammad, right? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to be the first one to tell the people that was me. That that wasn't Ali. And no disrespect to any like him or I mean, I, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know Ali. I don't know Jamal. I don't know none of them niggas, right? I know Crystal. I talked to her. But I, I'm riding for Crystal. So, I mean, shit. So, yeah, no disrespect to Ali, nobody like that. Uh... The reason I did use his name was because me and uh, Toronto have had problems in the past. So I knew if I said, oh, this is the Darren I'm Darren's podcast or some shit like that, right? He wouldn't answer. But I knew if I said I'm Ali Muhammad, he would answer. So that was the that was the reason. Because uh, wasn't no one coming on there uh, yeah, defending her. So I was like, yeah, someone needs to come up on here and say something to his bitch ass. So yeah, I, I came on there and uh, yeah, called him a bitch on this show. Cause he's a bitch, you know what I'm saying? He's a straight up bitch. You know you are too. You know you're gonna stay behind that motherfucking computer screen, you little bitch ass nigga. I'm telling you, when I see you, oh boy, if I ever see you, I dare you to go to uh, ATL. 
I dare you. Remember, like I said, I dare you to talk to uh, uh, disrespect Chris like that again. I said, I dare you. Remember? I also told you you sound scared. <laughs> you sound scared. You sure did. You sure did. You really did. I'm like, I was really trying to watch on the other phone. I'm like, but it, it just, I just stopped watching. I just started talking. But then I'm like, damn, this nigga really sounds scared. And then I watched your body language and I'm like, this little boy, I'm telling you, if I see you in person, boy. You're going to be really scared. You're going to be really scared. And to all your little supporters, it's like, oh, well, he ain't shit. He's whack. This nigga whack. Hey. All right. All right. That's all I'm going to say is all right. And it ain't just me. I'm a, I can handle myself. That's why That's why I really, until right now, I ain't even mentioned that I got people. You know what I'm saying? Because I stand on my own. But yes, I do got people if I need it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I said, everything backwards. Y'all know what it is, NFA all the bitch. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Toronto. Like, this is crazy. Hold on. This backwards ass shit. This shit crazy. This shit crazy. This don't make no damn sense how much trouble that nigga been in back to back. Not, I mean, I know a lot of niggas has been in trouble, but I mean, what I meant by that is the domestic. Like, to me, that's a lie. The domestic. That nigga would never get a gun. You would never get a gun, nigga. I know niggas have told the shit illegally, but I mean, I'm sure you do, maybe. You should, which you're making an enemy ass. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Boy, you wanna keep on talking that motherfucking shit. As I said before, they will always threaten their own. You see what I'm saying? They will always threaten they will their always own. always threaten their own. Yeah, let, me, let me go back to whenever uh, uh, Crystal didn't threaten you, Khatib didn't uh, threaten you. All, he, all they said was, you're suspect. What'd you say? Pull up. That's a threat to me. You know what I'm saying? Pull up. That's like, you know what I'm saying? So you said don't threat, but you threat. I threat. I, I'll do it though. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sitting here saying, you know, don't threat. I'm just saying, you said don't threat. Own, they will always talk tough to their own, but they will turn their guns over to the European. You feel what I'm saying? They will turn their guns over to the European, but say, you threaten Crystal. Yeah, you disrespect Crystal again. But let the European take their guns. There you go. You don't ever t he don't ever talk no kind of so crazy the about the, day, the Europeans. You know what I'm saying? Ever. It's all always about a black man. Y'all know them box hat motherfuckers that had us enslaved, right? Had us on the motherfucking ground in chains while they had some clothes on while we was like butt, basically butt ass naked. They had some fucking clothes on with them. Bitch ass box hats. You know what I'm saying? And he want to sit here and call Katiba slave. He called him a fucking slave. He said, you slave? What? Boy, when he said that shit, I said, oh my goodness. I said, that just makes me think like he will work for the white people. You fucking slaves, you know, put us in slave, in slavery. Well, I, yeah, I, I immediately thought that shit. No, I believe it. I believe that that's him. He once said he would not die for this shit. I've always thought anyone in this type of movement would die for this shit. Bitch, y'all die for this shit. Bitch, y'all beat your ass for this shit. But he, but he sit here saying he wouldn't die for this shit. He wouldn't put himself on the line. He's talking about people with guns walking around and shit. You know, knowing damn well what you're a revolutionary. You got a fucking target on your motherfucking back. He don't know nothing about that shit. Besides, I mean, he has a target on his back, but he don't know nothing about that type of target. He don't know nothing about that. He a hating ass nigga. Wish he had, wish he had that motherfucking uh, 
success and power is what it is. He don't have that power. He wishes he had it. You know, that's in a way why he was hating on GMJ because GMJ had some power. You know what I'm saying? Still does, but that's really why it's hating on him. You know, you know, they like whenever somebody has more than one woman, he hate on that shit. It's like just don't be mad that you can only get one with your ugly ass. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Hey, I need y'all to do something for real. What after this? When y'all hear this, watch his motherfucking mouth every time he talks. If y'all know any, if y'all know anyone that has dentures, right? or a mouthpiece in their mouth, or a fucking retainer, anything in their mouth, grill, they have like a lisp, right? Like a, a speech impediment, because something's in their fucking mouth that they, they used to. This nigga got dentures, bro. He got dentures. He also got a fucked up hairline, you know what I'm saying? This nigga's hat was up during the video, and he hurried up and put it down, because I was like, damn, this shit go way back. Yeah, that's why he always wears hats. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, nigga. Always wearing hats. For real. The nigga got dishes, though, for real. Someone fucked his shit up. Bop! With a pipe, nigga. Busted his shit all up because he got dishes. Tell me, watch how them the motherfucker talks. It looks like he can't say certain shit because it's gonna, you know, shit's gonna pop out of his mouth. I'm telling you, nigga. Because you're a slave. The bitch I mean, the slave will you always want to talk to say that we are slaves. Bitch ass nigga. You see what I'm saying? The, mentality of a slave. I mean, yeah, he called me a slave. He called me a slave. Scared. He didn't know it was me. But now you know, you little bitch no, ass nigga. I had you scared. I had you scared. Scared yeah. and cautious are two different things. And I promise you, nigga, I ain't the police. <laughs> I promise you that. Little bitch. Now scared you might be. You are the motherfucking one that really might be the agent. Things. You talk about everyone being an agent. Everything about your show is I about someone trying to be an agent. So I know he Motherfucker. Stops, you know I, mean? I don't want nothing to do with agent. But your whole show is about agent, this nigga. Was, what, said this was your first what type of shit is that? Everything you wanna uh, everything you wanna everything talk about is, is agent. Good. You little Ain't bitch. About this. Man. I mean. <laughs> you super fucking funny. Hey. And I ain't talking comedy, bitch. I'm talking weird. Y'all some disrespectful motherfuckers in the comments, too. Y'all have to stay in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have to. Comments to God, y'all gotta, y'all have to stay there. Cause y'all damn sure can't speak that shit in person. Fucking cowards, man. Y'all are some fucking cowards. Biggest motherfuckers. Ooh, y'all got motherfucking words twisted up. Y'all got me. Y'all got me heated for real. The comment section, I'll be one to punch y'all motherfuckers. Words do the motherfuckers scream. Swear. You must not really want to live, Tarzan. He said, who want to live? I want to live. That was probably one of his minions. Do you really making all these motherfucking enemies, bro? You say you out here exposing. The agents and shit. But nah, nigga, you exposing accusations, motherfucker. You ain't exposing facts. Stupid fuck. You saying, and honestly, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Like, I, I got receipts, but you can barely really see them. These are real, real fucking talk. He got them cases, bro. He got that shit. Like, I'm trying to put that on the motherfucking screen. You feel me? But, uh, Y'all, yeah, y'all gonna have to uh, bear with me on that. They just believe it. Well, look it up your damn self, shit. Motherfuckers go to uh, Maryland Judiciary Case Search Results, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Maryland, Baltimore, with his bitch ass. Okay, so, so look, Sam, I need you to tell me, Rick. Talked all that motherfucking cat shit. They want to say you didn't disrespect her. And everyone that came on there saying something about Crystal, hey, fuck every last one of y'all. Fuck all y'all. Yes, I'm if I'm talking to y'all, like all y'all. Like, whatever I say, uh, all y'all, like you. If you thought that, hey, nigga, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, nigga. Do something. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm literally saying that to you. Fuck you. The one that thought that, fuck you. Do something. I fucking dare you. I fucking dare you to do something. Push you. I'm going to have you pushing daisies. 
right up, right up, nigga. And I'll sleep well at night. I have a couple bad dreams, but I'll sleep so fucking good, you dumb motherfuckers. Keep fucking with people, Toronto. Keep fucking with them. Keep fucking with them. Yeah. I was reading what King T said. He said, uh, we got to be careful that white supremacists don't use our platform to research and destroy our people. Toronto is the people. He's the one that, he knows that. He knows damn motherfucking well. Because he said it before. He said that they can be coming over here looking at our shit. And they're going to be like, oh my God, look, look at them, you know, looking at us crazy, laughing at us. He said that before. So he, he, King T, if you ever see this, I, I don't know why you never uh, never seen this from the jump. He's been doing this shit. Start off with Jim J, but every motherfucker he gets into it with, oh, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Instead of like being a bigger person, being a loving person like he, he says he is, that nigga ain't shit. He a fucking fraud. It's all for the motherfucking computer. I'm telling you. In life... I really use these. I really do. I really motherfucking do it. I swear I will use them when you Toronto. These. Fuck them guns. These. Bruh. I can do something crazy with these. That part where you got hacked, that was funny. That was funny. Whoever did that, that shit was that shit was legit. That shit was funny. Yeah, y'all got to see it. Hold on. Or hear it. Hold on one second, fam. Let me try to give me one second real quick. Give me one second, fam. I'm gonna try to work this out right quick, but. You could do that. Real quick. But what I'm saying is unbelievable that someone <laughs> say something crazy like that. Okay, okay, okay. Give me one second, family. I'm not sure what the heck is happening here. Yeah. Yes, sir. That nigga, uh, he gonna, he gonna keep on talking about Black men and women continuously, continuously, and he want to say that uh, he's for the people. No, you ain't for the people. You're against the people. All y'all supporters, I'm telling y'all, if, if if you ever say anything wrong to him, he's gonna he's gonna do a show on you too. Watch. I don't give a fuck. He does one on me. He kind of already has a half a show it was with, with Delta, but yeah. Y'all got shit fucked up. Thinking that he he's legit. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not. And and also, if y'all really if y'all really don't want to look up, if y'all if y'all want, comment y'all's email address. I'll send it to y'all. I'll send it to y'all so y'all can see it better. You know what I'm saying? And tell me if it's bullshit or not. You tell me, motherfuckers. Wait to do this one. Unbelievable. I couldn't wait to do this one because you know what? Toronto, you be talking a lot of motherfucking shit. You be talking a whole lot of shit. And guess what? You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Just re just remember what your motherfucking temple look like. Look like shit. You be acting like you some type of motherfucking grand shit. Your motherfucking temple look like a box, nigga. You really think that you are something, something. This motherfucking ah, nigga, you ain't shit. Ah, mop. mop your ass up, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I, I wish, I wish I could see you, bro. For real, on some real shit, I wish I could see you. No homo. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm talking about you got some backup plan. No, you don't. No, you don't. You got hacked. Y'all gonna get up out of here. I just wanted to, uh, yeah, since this shit's backwards and shit, I guess, uh, I, yeah, if you really want to see it up close, call me to motherfucking email address, and I'll send that shit to you, you know what I'm saying, because, yes, up close is better, I, I'd rather y'all do that, I'd rather y'all fucking do that, I'll send that shit straight motherfucking to y'all, so y'all can see this shit for y'all damn self, because... This nigga got a child abuse case twice on his own motherfucking kids. This nigga is a motherfucking child beater. Made her and a woman beater, too. He beat his fucking baby mama. I'm telling y'all. Ask him about that shit. Ask him why he beat his motherfucking baby mama. Uh, also, uh... You need to spend some more time with your wife. You're always on YouTube and shit. Like, four hours on, on YouTube talking to other people and shit. And she's like, I wish he would help me with the kids. I wish that he would come in here and spend some time with me. And you be saying that all the motherfucking time on YouTube. And you still keep doing it. She's gonna find her another man. She's gonna find her another Muslim man. You know what I'm saying? She really is. Because, uh... You love, you, you love YouTube. You don't love the people. You love YouTube. And you love that... Feeling that you are something. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You think that you are something and you're not. That's why I said you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You think you are. You feel like you are. You know what I'm saying? You do be getting paid. Jamal paid your ass. You do be getting motherfucking paid. So stop acting like you don't be getting paid on your motherfucking show. Because you do. You be asking people for money. You be... Yeah, you do. Yeah. You. I mean, you used to do it all the time. I don't, now I don't hear much. You just drop it in the comments. But used to be like, hit the cash app, hit the cash app. I, I used to be like, wow, he's really money hungry. I can't believe my, people don't see this shit. Yo, fuck your show. I don't give a fuck what kind of content you got. Nigga, fuck you. Let them want to do it. Don't be sitting here continuously asking them for fucking money. It's not like one of them preachers that says, if you can't give 500, you give 1,000. Fucking fucks. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm going to get up off here, I guess, because, yeah. Yeah, I just want to say a little something. I haven't made a video in a minute, so, yeah, a little update and let them know, hey, this is what it is, nigga, fuck you. Because you won't allow me on your show. You won't bring me on. You'll say, click the link, but you don't accept it, bitch. You don't bring us, you don't be wanting to bring certain people on. You know what I'm saying? I'll be calling. I got your motherfucking number. Like I said, bitch, that was me. That was me. Yeah. Got all that motherfucking uh, text now. Made me like a little fake number. Ring, bitch. Had to call you a bitch. Had to see what you look like when I called you a bitch. And you look scared. You really did. And the person I wear say do something. I bet you wouldn't. I bet you wouldn't. I bet you would. And you and you know what? You bigger than me with your fat ass. I'm probably taller than your ass, but I know you ain't got better hands than me. I know you ain't got better feet than me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll go upside your head with my feet first. Before I punch you, I'm probably hit you with my feet first. That's facts. Most likely. But you're just a talker. But like I said, you better shut the fuck up. Don't take this as no joke, bro. I'm sitting here smiling and shit. Do not take this as no fucking joke. You need to shut the fuck up, for real. For real. You're making too many enemies. But, hey, NFAR, we up, bitch. Salute. Salute the film. Salute all, all love the uh, new Black Panther Party. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck Toronto. Fuck you. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> bitch. Right in your nose. These two knuckles. I just taught you how to punch. I bet you didn't really know how to punch. You are the one that does this. That's the type of shit that you, how you fight Toronto. You, ah, when you, you, you be acting like you, you got hands, like, you know, doing all this. It's all fake. It's all sitting down. Thank you, you fight like this. I already know you're fat. You a fat ass dude. Just like this. I already know it. I'm coming in straight in, bam. 
rearranging your nose. I wouldn't hit you in your big chin. I'll probably break my, my fucking knuckles. It's your big chin ass. Crimson Chin is your nickname. <clears throat> yeah. Steady motherfucking ride for my people. Ready to die for my people, bitch. But uh, Toronto ain't he ready to die. No, he wouldn't get paid from his people. He don't want to fucking... I mean, he keep, he keep speaking on his bitch ass. You already know how I feel. He's a bitch. Straight up bitch. And I told him. Even though I did act like Ali only did it because uh, he, w he wouldn't answer for me if I said it was me. But I did tell him, you know who this is. I thought he recogni wouldn't recognize my voice. But yeah, he really did. He was spooked. He really kind of thought it was Ali. But I said, you know who the fuck this is. You know, but because now we had words before and I, huh, I KO'd him. Mm -hmm. Checkmated him. Yes, I did. I let him know my research is, is very impeccable and it was way better than his. My research was like, yeah, nigga, this shit's real. This shit's really real. Don't fuck with me. And he stopped. He really stopped. As soon as I, I put my shit out, the nigga never talked about me no more. On some real shit, he didn't. I mean, he kind of did, but he never mentioned my name. All he said was, you know, that one guy, uh, Delta's right-hand man. That's what he said. He didn't say Darren's podcast like he used to. And then whenever I put my shit out, that video, I, I put two. I took one down because the first one was just raw. Just raw. Second one, uh, Lil Mercy, I guess you could say. But, um, yeah, he got the fucking point. And he stopped fucking with me. I don't know why he want to keep fucking with people. You know. Yeah, he don't want to fuck with me. He knows it. You don't want to fuck with me, nigga. And I proved that shit you want to fuck with me, nigga. All right, I did. But you can continue if you want after this. It's your, it's, I mean, because I, I, you did comment. Matter of fact, so hey, it is what it is, right? Bitch, you kept fucking with me. That's what I'm saying. You commented on my shit, nigga. You talk to me, you fuck with me, nigga. You fuck with me, nigga. So, it's there. Yeah, I took it there. Yeah. But yeah, salute. Love y'all niggas. Fuck Toronto all day.